Hey, good morning, friends. Today's gospel lesson and children's message comes to you from Mark chapter 8, verses 34 through 36. Jesus is telling all about his death and about the hard things to come in his life. Um, he knows what's happening because he's the son of God. He knows what he is going to have to suffer and endure on the cross for our sake. And so he is trying to explain this to the disciples. And big surprise, they don't get it. <laughs> they do not understand what he's talking about. And even for us as Christians and believers of Jesus and grown-ups, sometimes when we read the scripture, we're like, what? What does this mean? What is God trying to tell us? I think the, the gist or the piece that I will take away out of today's lesson is that it's not always easy following Jesus. It's not always easy doing the right things. Sometimes it's downright hard. I really, really, really want to say something nice. I really want to be nice, but Man, this person is just tough to love. God calls us to do what is right. He calls us to do the hard things. He calls us to follow him. He also reminds us that he is he has never left us, that we are never alone, that he is always with us. Scripture tells us hundreds of times that we should not be afraid. There are Hundreds of times where God reminds us that we are not alone and that he is with us. And sometimes it's reminding ourselves of those scriptures. If you remember last week when Jesus was being tempted by the devil, Jesus quoted scripture to talk to the devil. We can do that same thing to encourage ourselves. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We can find our strength in Jesus. Friends, in this week to come, I encourage you to do the right thing, to follow Jesus, to make good choices. And I promise you, it will be a good thing and you will feel good about your choices. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for your many blessings. We give you thanks for the good times and the bad times, because we know in the bad and hard times that you are with us. And for that, we are truly grateful. So bless our week to come and our time together today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great week, my friends. Good morning, friends. Um, as we come off of the message from Kim, I want to take the time to teach you all a song this morning. And I know over the course of the past few weeks, we've had some really high energy songs or we've got some really cool uh, things going on. But today, I want to kind of just keep it low and have kind of a, a reflective song that we're going to sing. And it kind of talks about all these great things that we have in our relationship with God and how we can rely on God in so much. And that God is always going to be there for us. And God is our all in all. And that is the name of the song. It's called All in All. And so how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to sing through this song. I'm going to have the words on the bottom as I always do. So if you want to try and sing, come along and catch the chorus because it's a really cool tune and we'll go through it a few times. But let's just take some time to, to kind of be reflective and um, engage our relationship with God and kind of understand that God is our all in all. So let us begin with all in all.
this morning, and remember that God is your all in all. Have a good Sunday, everyone.